What's good? Today, I'm going to be answering your questions. I asked you guys on Twitter to tweet me your questions using the hashtag Q&A. Ja. And I also asked you guys to leave a comment below one of my vlogs. So, let's just dive right in, shall we? Question number one. What is your opinion on Donald Trump? Um, I don't know her. What has been your most profound realization this year? Uh, ask me again in December. What do you do when you need a good old Asia confidence boost slash when do you feel your best? Listen, whenever I'm feeling low on confidence, I always remind myself that outward appearance ain't shit. Beauty is truly only skin deep. As people age, they're only going to grow further and further away from the beauty ideal. And the people who spent all of their time worrying about how they looked on the outside and spending no time or effort at all on talent or learning new skills or educating themselves, they're going to grow old, what are they gonna have? They're not going to have any talent, they're not going to have any skills, and they're not going to have an education. Whenever you're feeling low on confidence about your outwards appearance, you just have to remind yourself of the qualities that make you a multi-dimensional person. Like, I remind myself that I am smart. I remind myself that I am working every day to better myself as a person. I remind myself that I am socially and culturally aware. I remind myself that I am a good person. I treat myself well. I treat other people well. And I am using my platform to inspire people who look like me. And all of those qualities are so much more important than what you look like on the outside. So if you're ever feeling down about yourself, just remind yourself of your passions, your hobbies. What are you contributing to the world? What are you teaching yourself? What are you learning? Those are way more important than looks. How old are you? Old enough. This is an inside joke that you've probably seen on my Twitter because people make fun of me all the time. And it's when I met Drake. And um, that's just that's just another another story for another video. How did you first get into the industry? I never once wanted to be an actress or a model. If you asked my five-year-old self what I wanted to be when I grow up, I would have said an astronaut. <laughs> I was in school studying computer information systems, but I took a film class because it was really interesting to me. I love uh, television and film and I took a film production class and one of my classmates, well, a lot of my classmates actually, asked me to be talent in some of their projects and that's when I really realized that I liked being in front of the camera. From that, I started modeling. From modeling, I crossed over into acting. I really, really like acting. I took a class um, last year and I really liked it and then I got cast in Modern Family and I was like, I love this, I want to do more. <laughs> Hi mom, what's your favorite song at the moment? Hi daughter, my favorite song at the moment is She by Zion T uh, featuring someone, I don't remember who it was. <laughs> but yeah, Zion T is a very, very talented artist and he has that kind of like funky R&B vibe to, about him. Like you know that song by Zapp and Roger called Computer Love? Like if Zion T was a song, he would be Computer Love. What job would you do other than acting? Anything in computers, IT, computer programming, something, something like that. <laughs> Will this be in your video? Yup. If you could bring back three people to life for one night, who would they be and what would you talk to them about? Um, number one, right here, Tupac Shakur. And I would ask him how he feels about his song Changes still being relevant 20 years later. Because Changes is one of my favorite songs by Tupac and if you've listened to it, if you've heard the lyrics or read the lyrics, I'd say the only thing that he got wrong is that is when he said we'll never have a black president but other than that everything is still very relevant in 2016 so I would love to hear his thoughts about 2016. Uh, number two would probably be Bruce Lee. I think that I could learn a lot about everyday life from him. He was very philosophical. 
When he was filming Enter the Dragon, he actually told the producers if they were going to cut all the philosophical scenes from the movie, he wasn't going to show up. And I think he didn't show up on set for like two weeks. He like boycotted his own movie. He really believed that philosophy and everyday life needed to coexist. And one of my favorite philosophies of his is when he, when he was talking about the importance of balance between natural instinct and control. And he said, if you go to, I'll, if I find the video, I'll link it down below. But basically what he said, I'm paraphrasing. Basically what he said is if you go too extreme to one side, you become too unscientific. If you go too extreme to the other side, you become a mechanical man. A mechanical man. So it's important to fuse those two together in harmony to create a balance. And I really like that because like, you can't be too mechanical that you're not being in the moment, but you also can't be too unscientific that you don't think about things before you do them. So. I just, I don't know, I really like the philosophy and I feel like I can learn a lot from him. And the third person is Carl Sagan. That man just had all the answers to the universe and I would love to pick his brain for one night. <laughs> What's good? Today I am going to be doing the Filipino tag because I am half Filipino. For the first edition of questions, oh oh, nakakapagsalita ako ng Tagalog pero kunti lang. Taglish naman ako eh. 